Have you ever landed on a restricted shell and wanted to escape from it? This video is going to tackle just this. Let's get started. Hello everyone, welcome back to this new episode of the 64 base challenge. We have finally a prompt on the server using SSH. We've been able to achieve that by grabbing flag Four, I guess. Yeah, that was the one here. And so today we are going to see how we can escape from this restricted shell because apparently we cannot run any commands. Hey Google, tell me how to escape from air bash. Escape from air bash to bash shell. So it says here, basically we need to change our bash to bash using dash t bash no profile okay it's that simple uh, let's see going to exit from that and use dash t bash no profile let me know in the comments below why this option specifically just as a hint use the manual to read about this command bash and see what this option does. I'm going to uh, look for the password that we've encoded in the previous episode and use it in our password. Okay, now if I type ID, I indeed can run now some commands. What about ls? Still doesn't work. But I think that's because the author of the challenge has gone ahead and uh, changed pretty much all the binaries. So let's uh, use netstat to see what we are running under. So we have SMTP open here, I guess. And we have this port number. I'm not sure what this is. We didn't find it in our prox uh, port scanning. Hmm. What is this? CTF12. And then the port number. Oh, we have uh, another service. So you found a way in then. But can you pop root? Did you hear that? I heard nothing. ID. LS. Uh, talk to me. Talk to me, Goose. Nothing. Okay, this is the uh, command that's getting run. Bin ah. Okay, so they've uh, renamed it to netcat.real. Okay, so maybe we have a uh, ls.real. Nope. Bin ls.real. No. No such file directory. Okay. Um, so they've renamed it to netcat.real and they're listening on this port. Let's continue our enumeration. Um, let's go to slash home. Do we have anything here? User? Or do we have under user? Nothing. CD into user. LS. Mm, nothing. Okay. LS works here, but not in the home directory. Hmm. Okay. Um, let's go to var www and see what we get. Oh my god, we have a lot of files here or folders. Yeah, that explains why when doing directory enumeration, we got a bunch of empty results. I guess that's because uh, we had empty folders here. And uh, I guess we can recognize our imperial dash class folder here. We have security. What else do we have? We have admin. So what do we have under security? Security. Nothing. CD into security. Come on index.php cat index hmm what's this cat oh they've changed the cat binary maybe we have cat real 
maybe that could work. Cat.real, yes. Uh, Index.php, yes, empty. Uh, what about admin? cd into admin, ls. Oh, we have a folder called secret, okay. I wonder what this is. Okay, we have flag five, perfect. We're just one flag away and uh, let's see what this is. I don't need this service anymore. Echo that flag and base64 decode it. Look inside, hmm, okay. Seems like we need to look inside that file. So that's what we're going to do in the next video. If you learned something new in this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and uh, let's see you in the next episode. Until then, stay curious, keep learning and go find some bugs.